Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Siren Frost, and I'm actually holding my camera up today because I lost my little tripod thing, so I can't really do this on, on, the, on the table. So anyways, um, as we're about to close 2015, um, starting tomorrow, as if it's the New Year's Eve, I decided to take this little time and just basically, you know, give a shout out to all my subscribers for being there and helping me with this crazy adventure of being a Vanguard fighter and being a good Vanguard tuber, at least the best I can possible. But yeah, so this whole year has been going on going so fast. Like it's it's hard to believe that, you know, it's I guess time flies when, when you really are trying to have fun because we just start I feel like we just started this whole year and yet we're already over with. And maybe this whole year has been has been some good and some bad. And just depends on how you kind of look at it in the way. And I still can't believe, personally, for my YouTube channel, I still can't believe that I actually survived a whole year without changing one bit of my name, my YouTube name. That, to me, is a, a good accomplishment. Because you know how usually I always jump to one name after another, like Moonlight Tamer, Dark Moon Tamer, and finally just ended it all and just put Siren Frost. This whole year, I decided to change my name to Siren Frost, and luckily for me, I felt like it was a good sign, because it was a whole new year, and it was a whole new thing. And Siren Frost, which is there in my mind, with combining of My Little Pony and X-Men, all mixed into it at once, but still... It was just nice to, you know, survive a whole year without changing my name to anything else. And to some people, even Jane Storm, he said the name was not really a bad name after all. So I'm happy that I finally resisted and restrained enough to do that. Anyways, um, so the years have gone by. Things have changed, um, most of the time. Um, friends come and go, um, enemies became friends somewhat, and friends became somewhat enemies. Now, I guess the only thing I will have, I can't honestly say, you know, I can't really give you guys a, a resolution to what's next in 2016 because, you know, I never really follow through it. Um, so yeah, this is quite exciting, moving to a new age, um, but I guess there's some things I just need to say, you know, some good and some bad. The only thing I guess we have accomplished this whole year is gay marriage has been officially legalized all over the United States and even Canada. So that to me is a very good accomplishment. We've been waiting for this for like ever. And so, so that was actually the most happiest thing I ever seen, seeing my people or my gays and Get, let them get married, but for some reason, I'm still, you know, puzzled by it because, you know, here's the question. What do I know about love? Hardly a damn thing, to be honest. <laughs> the bad thing about all this, ever since the gay marriage thing had been legalized, we've been getting a complete uprise out of anti-gay people like Kate, da um, Kate Davis, or Kim Davis, that fucking bitch from hell. I hope she finds a fucking hell. Burns to it. Um, we had law enforcement's, you know, being mean to certain people, you know, when it comes to restroom policies. Like, the whole transgender community, community was affected by this because there is this, I saw this video on Facebook, and it was just a lesbian, a girl... A really a girl who looks like a guy but is really a lesbian she was just using the restroom and then these cops were trying to say if you have an I have an ID which kind of, you know infuriates me a little bit since when do we need to have IDs to go use the restroom publicly and some people are saying we need to have unisex um, bathrooms or um, I, 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 um, transgender bathrooms but that won't solve a damn thing like if you do that, if you enforce the transgender bathrooms, like, using a handicap sign, because that's what people think it is, is a handicap sign. It's a sickness. It's a disease. 
But it's not. But this girl was literally getting repri reprehend reprehended just because she was just using a restroom without an ID. And all the women in, in, this, in this restroom was just defending her because she was getting attacked by these officers who clearly have no fucking brain cells left, obviously. We don't need people like this in society. And speaking of society, since when do we need to start being a complete ass to people in the Vanguard community? I'm aiming towards it at, at, at the Vanguard community. Because, um, you know, I got done watching Jane Storm's video about his friend Badger. And I've seen how Jane got so furious because there's these two individuals who are saying all this shit. Oh, I don't know. I think I have some stuff on it. Hold on, guys. And you know what? I'm drinking my drink today, so bombs up. Yeah, I know it looks kind of bad, guys, but you gotta say, this shit's really good. But anyways, in the Vanguard community, I'm shocked to see and appalled by people's actions and their attitude towards certain people's choices of cards and their decks. Because, to me, it's no way's ever fucking business. I mean, everyone has a brain cell, okay? They have the will and the brain to do what they want to fucking do with their decks. To me, it's not a big of a... It's a big of a deal, but to some, it's not that big of an issue. I mean... I'll give you one a good example. I got postured by... You no, know, um, I got, you know, treated badly because, at one point... Because I posted, I posted a Harpy Lady deck profile when it was just barely progressing, you know, coming into fruition. And then someone said, this deck is a piece of shit. Learn to play or quit, you noob faggot. And I'm like, really? Excuse me? What'd you say to me? Kind of thing. I hate those kind of people. <clears throat> and I think they're called trolls. And there's some people that are just give out bad advice and just... It's like Jane's question saying, like, why are people just, you know, being ass just for the sake of being ass? Because people are bored with their fucking lives, apparently. So anyways, um, Badger's video, I saw it too because there was a link on Jane's description box. And, you know, it was just a Royal Paladin deck. Like, he got top 32 with that. Out of, what, how many of these things normally come at events like 400, 300, 200... 140. I'm, I'm, I'll guess, guys, because you know, you gotta help me out. If you guys went to these events, you can probably just tell me the number and it'll be all good because I am bad with these kind of numbers. Anyways, top 32 to me, that would be a gold mine. That'd be something to celebrate. You know, get a birthday cake and just eat it with your best friends. Just call it a celebration. <laughs> a bad girl celebration day. Um, and I saw a deck profile myself, and half of it is Royal Pound and Jewel Knights. Um, his main unit was Sanctuary Guard Dragon, which everyone knows that it's a broken card, I'm guessing. That's what I'm just trying to say. Um, but these comments I've been seeing, these two individuals are saying that Sword Me basically wins just for him, win all, the whole thing for him, and they're 20 cents a piece. It's like, really? I own only one copy of Sword Me, guys, and I'm still looking for three more because I want to make it back myself. A different, just a plain jewel line. But you know what? That's just me. Anyways, as far as I know, Jane mentioned that Sword Me himself is 20 a piece. And Sanctuary Guard is 20 a piece. Is that correct? $20 a piece? I don't know. My hearing's awful. And I'm somewhat a little bit messed up right now. <laughs> but I just don't see, and I don't understand why people have to look down on people's choices of cards. I mean, this is like the same issue where Jaden's teammate, Sam, when he when they show his Aqua Force deck when they went to Pasadena, Texas for that Team League thing, and everyone's just jumping down this guy's poor throat because he's not playing Tile Assault. Now, I own Tile Assault. I like him, but I don't think he's quite useful to any Aqua Force. But to some people, you know, he's just not that good. You know, because he does lose 5k power when he attacks, when he attacks. But it causes him to stand up. Now, unless you can come at it with, with a booster in the background, then that's just me. That's just how it's supposed to be. 
But I don't see a big of an issue with that. Like, why are people just bad-mouthing someone else's choice of deck because it's not part of the meta? Sam's deck was just working for him, and it was just working just fine. It There was plenty of consistency within these decks. Even Badger's deck, you know, I'll admit, personally, because I'm a Jewel Knight freak, and I defend for Ashley Reverse any day of the week, because she's a fucking hottie of a Valkyrie. Ashley Reverse, in my opinion, does not really belong in a Sanctuary Guard deck. But if it worked for Badger, I say let him keep her. But to me, what I can say about Badger's deck, you know, if he wants to go to a straight-up Sanctuary Guard, um, full, full-fledged full deck of Sanctuary Guard, why not try the new Grade 2 unit that came from Set 4 that goes with him perfectly? And it said, is there a Grade 1? I have to look at the list again, but there's a Grade 1 unit that goes with Sanctuary Guard as well. Plus, in Set 6, Sanctuary Guards gain a Stride, a stride Breaker. For um, Sanctuary Guard something. But, you know, it's in there. I know it is. And, Badger, if you're watching this, I think that would be a great theme for you. You did say that you're you're the f next generation of Vanguard fighters. Which I now believe that you are. You're the next generation. Jenny believes in you. I believe in you. Obviously, your friends believe in you. So, you know what? Keep up the good work. Be yourself. And just, you know... Forget the comments. Fuck them all. They're not. They're irrelevant. They're nothing. And so, you know, like I said, guys, I don't get why society has to be such a bitch at times, and I don't know why the Vanguard community has to look down on someone else's belief or deck profiling. Like I, my deck's been shattered so many times because someone decided to say the maidens suck, musketeers are OP, and that infuriated me so much. I remember that one time. Someone said at one time when I was trying to defend Jaden when he was getting attacked by some little shithead I just really want to now punch I mentioned he said that my main deck profile is a piece of shit musketeers are so better okay first of all I don't follow the fucking meta oh guys okay if I do point that out for me I'll remember it next time because I am bad memory but I don't see me playing musketeers at all I don't hate musketeers I think they're annoying but I don't hate them. I love my maidens. And my maidens, maidens themselves are starting to get now more power to the point they're officially an archetype. Except they're under maidens of. But you know what? It's something. And, you know, everybody was just all bandwagoning the Phantom Blaster Abyss deck because it was winning. And then, from what I've heard from Carfight Keen, everyone's following the Ripple deck profiling from the Japan stage because it was winning Japan. Okay, let's get one thing straight, guys. Japan is not our god. It's a lie. It's a false rumor. Get over it. Get the fuck over it. We don't need to follow Japanese meta. This is American meta. Let us focus on Americans. You know, it's nice to see Japan's, you know, how their outcome is, but we can do better, too. Let's focus on Japan more in America. I'm sorry. I'm not racist. I love Japan myself. I love sushi, for God's sakes. I love kabukis. I love geishas. I love all this... Anything good from Japan. But we don't need to follow the meta of Japan. That's their meta. We have our own. Let's deal with this, okay? So, in closing, guys, I hope you guys have a very good New Year's Eve party. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And let's start 2016 with a fresh new start. Um, Hopefully, I'll try to, you know, have the guts. No, I was fucking say this without nice thing. Hopefully, I'll have the balls to go to shop qualifiers somewhere outside of state. Or hopefully there's one Utah's going to get one. I do hope Utah gets a shop qualifier and all that stuff. Because I really want to go to Team League. I want to have my own team. I want to be with... I want to actually meet James Storm in person. Badger, Carfight King, um, Shura Dragon. Because, you know, Shura likes to see my videos most of the time. And me and him talk excellent, actually very much well. You know, all this stuff. And I'm hoping my friends... You know, I'll do a lot better with my friends in the mid-future because, you know, I have no hate towards them. Yeah, I may feel lonely and may feel kind of sad because they're in a different card game. But if they're, if I will someday, I'll probably just tell them how I felt. Or if they watch this video, then they know that, you know, whatever I did to them, I'm sorry. I don't know what I can do to make up for it. But if it's just because they're playing a different card game and, you know, there's more focus on that... I'll let them do it. I'll let them have that fun. Because everyone deserves to have fun in gaming. 
But yeah, um, so anyways guys, this is Siren Frost, and I'm doing this video early because I won't be able to do a video on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day because I'll be super, super busy with work, and I won't just have, I won't have much time for it. So, anyways guys, this is Siren Frost, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys have a great new year, go out and party, drink some champagne, spend some time with your woman, and, or man, or best friend, or whoever you prefer, and just have a great time. And then, fellow card fighters... Keep on card fighting, and hopefully I'll reach up to the level you guys are at. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you guys for being here for me. I appreciate it so much. And also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, thumbs up for it, and go ahead and check, my, check out my videos. You know, there'll be more contacts, or contact, contents. I can't read that my language. Contents in the mid-future. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time, and, and I'll see you in 2016. So, have a good day, have a good New Year's, guys, and see you guys next time.